Hey, it's Nick here. This video will get you up and running with the Rayjet 300 laser cutter. Start by turning on the laser cutter. The switch is at the back left corner. After the laser has power, the bed will lower all the way to its lowest position. Once there, open the door and carefully remove the bed. Clean any scraps of material that have fallen through the perforated bed, as these may become fire hazards when the laser is cutting. The bed has a number of alignment clips. When clean, carefully place the bed back on the guides making sure that these clips are aligned and clip onto the guides. Close the door and raise the bed up. Place your material, being careful not to hit the cutting head. While cutting, smoke and fumes build up on the lens and mirror. This can cause the lens to heat up as it is no longer clear. This will cause permanent damage or cracking. Lenses cost about $600. This is why we need to take extra care when dealing with them. Move the head out of the corner so you can get easy access to the lens and mirror. Remove the mirror by loosening the two thumb screws. Be careful not to lose these. Never touch the lens or the mirror. To clean the mirror, move to a clear spot. Use microfiber lens cleaning wipes and solution. Do not use your t-shirt. Squeeze a single drop of the cleaning solution onto the mirror. Spread gently over the mirror and let it sit for a few seconds. Wipe gently in circles. When clean, use a dry part of the wipe to wipe off any excess solution. Return the mirror back to the cutting head. Remove the lens by turning the lens holder anti-clockwise until the lens slides out freely. Clean the lens the same way as the mirror. Then return the lens back to the cutting head, making sure to firmly tighten in place. Getting the correct offset from your material to the cutting head is crucial as it sets up the focus for the lens. If this is not correct, it will result in thick burnt lines that aren't cut all the way through your material. Increasing the power will not help. Place your height setting device on the head as shown. Slowly raise the bed until the height setting device only just falls off. This should set the correct height. If you go too far, you will need to try again. Coral Draw is a vector editing program. It will be what you process your DXF files in before you cut. Open Coral Draw and create a new page by going to File, New Page. This has been set up to create a page that is the size of the laser cutter's bed. To import your DXF file, select File, Import, locate the file and click Import. A pop-up window will appear. Ensure Top View is selected and that you select a scale of 1 to 1. Click OK. You can now rearrange components or delete lines you don't need. If you are having trouble selecting a component, you can group the lines by right-clicking and selecting Group. For the laser cutter to recognize your lines, you need to use the RGB color mode. If you do not do this, the laser cutter will ignore your line work. To select RGB color mode, go to Tools, Color Management, Document Settings, and set primary color mode to RGB. Create four new layers in the Object Manager. Name each layer Cut, Engrave, Archive, and Reduce Power Cut. These layers are not necessary to cut, but it's good practice and helps you work more efficiently. You can bring in your vector illustrations or artworks to engrave or cut onto your parts. 
Move the lines to the appropriate layers by cutting and selecting the correct layer and pasting. You should now have everything you want to cut in the cut layer, engrave in the engrave layer, and lines that you want to cut at a reduced power where the cut does not go all the way through the material in the reduced power cut layer. You must differentiate your different types of cuts by changing the color of the lines. Change the color of the reduced power cut lines to green, cut to red, and the engraved lines stay black and shades of gray. Make sure you use only the colors in this chart as these are the colors the RayJet laser cutting software recognizes. The last thing you need to do in Coral Draw is to change the thickness of your lines to hairline. Make sure this is done for all of the lines in cut and reduced power cut layers. For the engraved layer, it's okay to have fills and other line weights. When you are ready to cut, select File, Print. In the Print window, navigate to the Color tab. Ensure the output color is set to RGB. Go to the General tab and select Preferences. At this point, the RayJet interface will open. Select the material you will be cutting. In this case, we will be using acrylic. Set the material thickness. This will be used to determine the laser's focal point. Make sure autofocus is off. You are now at the stage where you will define what color performs what type of cut. Select the black tab and set it to engrave. Turn Air Assist on and select the appropriate power and speed settings for the material you are using. Under the red tab, select Cut and ensure that Air Assist is on. Again, select the appropriate power and speed settings. Under the green tab, for reduced power cuts, select Cut and ensure that Air Assist is on. This time, reduce the power from what you used under the red tab. You may need to test a few times depending on what depth of cut you are after. Select Next and ensure your settings match what is shown here. Under the Summary tab, double check everything is correct. Then click the Process button. Select OK in the Print window. Your cut will now begin. You can monitor your cut by going to the Windows Toolbar and selecting More. Open the Mini Manager. This will give you an overview of what's happening. Stay in the vicinity while the laser cutter is cutting. You need to be around in case something goes wrong. Once your cut is complete, lower the bed all the way down to the bottom. Wait for the fan to stop, which is indicated when this orange light turns off. You may now open the door and remove your parts. Please ensure the bed is clean after cutting. Good luck and have fun. Thanks for watching. I know we covered a lot of information, but it should all become clearer when you start using the laser cutter.